Okay guys, here we are with another inbox review. This is the Edward 172 Dual Combo Pack for the Fokker DR1. Um, I picked this up pretty good deal and I know we're still working on the um, Sop with Camel, but uh, what better than to have a, a little combatant a little dogfight going on. Um, something to do when oil paints are drying and things like that. We'll work on these two kits kind of simultaneously. Uh, so I thought I'd do a, a quick review for you guys here. Um, great box art. This here with uh, Friedrich Kempf's uh, Kinscht Me Noch. Uh, that, uh, that'll be the version I think that we're going to do here. I'm going to do something pretty cool for this effect that he did with this crazy paint scheme with the, the greens and the, the browns and all that. I've got a, a pretty good idea how I'm going to do that using a, a weathering technique that I picked up from Paul at ISM. Um, to put spots of a whole bunch of colors of oil paints and then use the mineral spirits to, to wipe that off. Now, when you do that for weathering, you take it almost all the way off. Uh, but here, we're actually going to leave it probably about the midway point and uh, then we'll, we'll have that streaking look. And I think that'll come out uh, looking how we want it. Uh, so here's the box. Obviously, great cover art. Uh, really inspired me to want to make that particular model. Um, here on this side, uh, we've got some more of the uh, color schemes. I, I love this zigzag one there. That one's pretty cool too. So we do get two uh, models in this box. Um, part of that being that maybe we have a backup in case we mess up some stuff. We've got, you know, double of everything. So in case we make any mistakes along the way, um, we've got some backup plans. But uh, if not, if we don't have to replace parts, then we've got some other options to make uh, different different ones here. Um, some top views on this side of the box. More information about the different ones. And it is uh, item number 7017 if you're curious. And as you can see this is still completely in the shrink wrap here so we're gonna open it up live for you. Get it all out. See what we got inside. I've heard good things about Edward, so I'm excited to build this kit. I think it'll probably be a pretty distinct difference from the Academy kit that we've been working on um, in terms of fit and flash and the uh, amount of filling that we've had to do. So if I can just get this off here, looks like a. Okay, we've actually got staples, it seems, or something. No, here we go top of the box. Set that off over here. Sorry, bump the camera. Set that to the side. So what do we got? We've got advertisement for Squadron. Okay, set that aside. One bag with all of our spruce. And the instruction book. Here's our photo etch fret. And these are a duplicate, so we get two of everything. Uh, looking real good. Really, really good, actually. Gorgeous little details. I mean, we're still in 172 scale, uh, so these are just absolutely microscopic little guys. Uh, but we get engine uh, decaling, detailing that we get to do. Um, looks like a little bit of, uh, I think that might be a flare gun in Photo Edge. Uh, there's seat belts, that's really nice. So we're gonna get to detail out our cockpit a little bit. You remember from the Academy we got zero detail in the uh, in the cockpit of the camel. So we're gonna we're gonna have fun with that. We're gonna try and use as much of this as possible because I think this is gonna make this look really neat. Uh, we've got a masking set here for our uh, paint schemes. So this is cool. Very cool. And here are our decals. If I can get these a little closer to you guys. These are looking very nice. Looks like everything is completely in register. We've got good solid decals. I'm not seeing any issues with the coloring. It looks like all of the printing is really solid. It's um, all the blacks are real solid black. They don't look like they need a lot of touch up or anything like that. And, Especially the ones that we're concerned about, primarily here with Kempf and Kinshmi Nacht. It looks like all 
All of that looks really good. So excited about that. I'm gonna slip that back on there. Set those aside. All right, get this out of the way. We'll start opening up some of these sprues and at the end we'll go over the uh, instruction booklet. Okay, so we've got just the one one big bag here. So I'll open it up on this side. Okay, so remember that this is the dual combo pack, so we're going to have duplicates, so this should be identical. Yeah, these are two identical, so we're just going to review the one. So we get everything for uh, for one Fokker DR1 in, in a one fret, one big uh, sprue here, so that's nice. A um, little bit of flash around the propeller, nothing that we can't take care of. This is nice. I don't know if I can get you guys to see this, but the the machine guns actually have detail, very very fine. Uh, you can see the cooling jacket around it uh, actually has detail. Now on the on the camel, they're completely smooth, so we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. But with this one, we actually get very nice uh, machine guns, and I think we might even get yeah, we do. We actually get photo etch uh, frets to uh, even replace what nice detail is already there in plastic. So if you didn't want to anneal and roll the very very tiny photo etch then you then you could even get away I think with these these here uh, so just looking at this it looks like there's very minimal flash around it you can see here with the engine all that little ribbing detail is very nice very crisp uh, I'm looking forward to this one I'm thinking that the fit is gonna be much nicer than what we've experienced before and it looks uh, it looks to be a lot cleaner of a kit as well. Uh, everything there looks great. These side struts they're a little flimsy, um, so we have to be careful with those. Everything else is really solid. Uh, nice little chair here. I think we get maybe uh, yeah we do we get photo etched to to make that look more like a leather chair so that'll be kind of fun. Um, nice little interior cockpit detail here. We're gonna paint that, get that wood colored and with this one I definitely I definitely like the um, the ribbing detail a lot better. This feels to me much more in scale. <clears throat> this is definitely more what I would expect and the for 172 and it feels feels good, it looks good and we've got Not a lot going on, a little bit of raised uh, ribbing for the side of it, but this is all dope linen, so it's um, not going to have a lot of panels or anything. So that's actually looking really nice, and everything like that. And I think our wheels, now here's our, here are the wheels, I'm not sure what these are. So we've got um, a lot going for it. Uh, I think this is going to be a really great build, this should be... Um, even shorter and sweeter than our previous build with the with the camel. I think it's going to look great, and they're going to look great side by side. Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll even stick it together, and we'll try and do a little uh, a little diorama. Maybe we'll maybe we'll recreate this uh, in a diorama or something with with some flying sprue, some clear uh, sprue to to give them some lift and, and make a little diorama or something fun. Um, so I'm looking forward to this, and we'll put that aside. Let's go over the instructions real fast, if I can get them out. Nice thick book, actually stapled together and uh, gloss heavy paper, so that's really nice. Uh, we've got some history, a nice all red, looks kind of like the uh, the Red Baron's DR1 here. In information about the engine and all of that there. So we've got our color callouts are in uh, Mr. Color, and so we've got Guns, Aqueous, Mr. Color, and Mr. Metal Color. Uh, I won't be using any of those, so I'll be translating all of those into uh, either Tamiya colors or into um, Model Air or, or something along those, something easier for me to get. 
I don't have any local retailers that carry the Mr. Color, and uh, so we'll we'll do the translating for that, and we'll we'll work something out, and that'll be fine. Um, here's the sprue map. So all along the way, it's showing us where to put the photo etch pieces. And there's the hose and the control stick. I mean, absolutely just microscopic little pieces. So um, very cool. All the color cutouts also have the the color along with the the number, so we don't have to keep referring back to the beginning. We actually can just see that this is supposed to be dark iron, and it goes right there. So that's very nice. Um, shows you the seatbelts here, how to fold them and get them onto the seat. Here's information, here's the machine gun and it's saying I think to maybe remove some of that uh, detail that they had initially put on there and then um, I, you know we'll probably have to anneal and then roll this uh, piece here to get that on there. But we do, we get the, the whole jacket and we get the front cover and, a, um, and the uh, muzzle. So should come out looking really, really nice. Really nice. Um, looks like it goes together pretty easy, even for being, you know, three wings. It's, it's more, one whole more wing than we're used to, but this is um, looking really fast to put together. And the engine, here's all our extra details to get to put on there. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to look really nice. Uh, you'll remember with the camel that we got um, the engine cowl and that was all one piece. So all we got was some fan detail inside the, the cowling, but we didn't get any uh, optional parts or, or anything to get uh, an additional engine. So I'm looking forward to building the engine and painting it separate and weathering it separate and getting that to look real nice even though you'll, you'll barely see it but it's still something that I, I would prefer to get to do. Um, and here's how we put on all of the uh, wheel parts and the prop and our nice little photo etch piece here. Or is that a decal? Um, and then it shows the rigging. Now one nice thing about the uh, DR1 is the very minimal amount of rigging. Now we've got three, you know, wings. We've got a triplane, but very, very minimal wing uh, rigging. We're just gonna do a, a cross here and a cross here, and then a little bit for the tail controls, and so that's about it. I mean, we're we're gonna get off uh, really easy for that. So here's our uh, here's what we're looking for. This is important to us. This is. Uh, definitely the first one that I want to build here is uh, Friedrich Kempf's Fokker DR1. Um, all the placement for the uh, decals and the paint callouts and everything in full color looks great. Um, very easy to follow. So it'll be light blue on the bottom, then we're going to get this great effect uh, streaking paint across there, then some black and white and the decals. Uh, I'll go ahead and go through the rest. I also really like this one. This is uh, the Red Baron, with so we get the streaking and also bright red. So that's uh, that's a nice one. Maybe we'll build that one another day. Um, what do we got here? We've got Lothar von Richthofen. I think was his cousin or his nephew, um, and also very vibrant and fun. Yellow, not an easy color to paint. Uh, I, I don't mind it, but uh, it's interesting. So maybe, we, you know, if we've done, if we feel like by the time we get around to this, we've done plenty of red, then maybe we'll do a yellow plane and, and have some fun with that. I love the whole flying circus kind of idea of this, all these crazy colors and paint schemes and everything is, is just awesome. Um, and then, yeah, here we've got another one from Yasta 19. So this is all very cool. And then we've got, oh, we've got some nice history here actually on um, on the different pilots, which is very cool. I'm not going to read it all, but I'll zoom in so you guys can maybe see and pause if you really wanted to read it. Goes over Friedrich Kempf, Manfred von Richthofen, Lothar von Richthofen, and uh, Hans Corner. So 
Very cool, very detailed, very nice instructions. Thick, easy to fold in its book form so we can keep it open and keep it together and won't lose our place. And so I'm excited about that and looking forward to building it. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.